uh, morning of day two. Had a really nice cold front come in last night. Uh, winds blew 20 to 30 mile an hour probably. Uh, this morning they died down a little bit, maybe 15 mile an hour. Nice and cool. It's probably, I don't know, mid 40s, low 40s this morning. Had five doe come in uh, right there, right before sunlight. They hung around for a little while. Uh, just nothing went wanted to shoot at this morning. They were all attending uh, little yearlings. So it was pretty cool to see some deer come in anyway. So we're going to pack up, go get us some breakfast, chill out for a while, and then figure out where we're going to hunt this afternoon and give it another try. So, well, see how it goes. I'll check in with you later. Day two, going in, evening hunt. Come on, showdown. Saturday morning. It's gonna be the last hunt of this weekend. I had a real good time with Jeremy running the cameras and just hanging out, helping me out this weekend. Uh, went ahead and made the decision last night based on weather and uh, opportunity to go ahead and try that same sit again. 
We were really aggressive this weekend, may have been too aggressive. Uh, we ended up moving the tripods twice. Uh, where we're at right now, uh, just trying to get better positions. Just having challenges of a new deer lease, not sure where the deer come from, what time they come. But I think we learned a lesson this morning that we probably do not need to hunt this spot in the morning. All right. Uh, <laughs> tonight I'm doing exactly what you should not do. I got down here to the deer lease. Uh, it was raining hard all day. It was pouring down when I got here. And as soon as I got my travel trailer taken care of, as far as water, you know, getting everything put in, the rain stopped like you turned off a switch. I've got about one hour before sundown. I figured it was worth a try. So I went ahead and bombed out here to a pop-up line. I'm not even in my hunting clothes. So I've got a little cover scent wig hanging. And I could already see that there was about eight or nine deer out in the wheat field. So hopefully I haven't got in here too late. And uh, it's not going to be the best filming. I'm going like straight up simple. So I'm going to sit in here, get everything finished up, uh, kick back and enjoy about the last hour. Uh, just got to see what happens. <laughs> Hope I don't stink. So let's check out and plan some stuff for tomorrow. I'm wanting to hunt back here. So let's see how this is going to be. You couldn't have asked for a more beautiful morning this morning. It was nice, crisp, cool, six, seven mile an hour wind and nothing. <laughs> I got skunked. And now my little white friends decided to show up. You know, I do like lamb chops. This might have to see if I let one fly or not. Alright, headed back in. Going for the afternoon hunt. It's been a pretty crazy season so far, just trying to learn the new place. And so far, it's been nothing but.
All right, guys, I'm going to give you a little update. I did end up shooting uh, a younger doe, a doe that I named Socks earlier in the season. She's got real pretty white legs. Uh, just looks a little different than a lot of doe. I've uh, been seeing her and a few other doe a lot. I, I guess they're just living here on the property. And that's about all I'm seeing in person. It's just a lot of doe. So I don't think taking one this early is going to hurt me during the rut. It might help a little bit because there is quite a few. I, mean, I watched 11 doe in the wheat field yesterday with no bucks. So basically just it's in the season. Got tired of waiting. So that's probably Jeremy texting me right there. Waiting on him to get here. He's about 20 miles away. He's going to help me with recovery. My shot placement was a little far back. Gonna have to look at footage and figure out why. I'm not exactly sure why I shot. I normally don't miss to the right. So probably didn't get a good anchor the way I was sitting, would be my guess. Anyway, I could see the arrow, I could see where she went. I think I heard her crash, but she did go pretty far. But we'll go pick up my arrow when Jeremy gets here and uh just go get a good recovery. She should be dead, um, even though the shot was back. So we'll find out. Smell bad. Well, I don't see any blood back here. Okay. On the rock. There's broken branches there. Oh, there's a bunch of foot on that one. Right, we gotta be getting close to where she piled up. I heard two commotions. Okay, there's blood. She just like fell down right there. Lots of blood right there. Where'd she go from there? You heard blood here. You heard two crashes? Uh-huh. They weren't too far apart. So I wonder if she crashed there and got up and crashed. That's what I'm wondering after this blood. And it's got bubbles in it, dude. It's gotta have bone. She probably ran the complete opposite direction and crashed. But I mean there's that and then this. But if she were to crash right there. And if she were to get up and take off running, it's probably the opposite direction. Just look all the way around. Oh, she's right there. <coughs> all right, this will be deer two of the 2017 season. Jeremy drew first blood with that nice 10 point. I ended up harvesting a doe this weekend. I'm just having trouble with the bucks down here. Uh, pretty much everything I have are really young. Uh, there's been two nice bucks that I've keeping my eye out for, but they're just real scarce. You don't hardly ever see them. So I've seen this doe every single sit, which has been uh, five or six sits, and she shows up everywhere. So I went ahead and decided to go ahead and take her down, fill the freezer. Uh, at least we got some meat now. Uh, my boys will be here this weekend, so maybe them two can collect some bone. But very happy. Uh, she's actually bigger than I thought she was. End up going about 100, 110 yards, something like that. If it wasn't for Jeremy, I would have never found her tonight. So I'm grateful that he, he came down. So we're going to get her loaded up. Wasn't the greatest shot, so we need to hurry up and go get her field dressed and uh, get her cleaned out. So it looks like we may uh, hit the stomach just a little bit.
or not we, me. <laughs> I was the one that made the bad shot. So anyway, uh, she's good and stiff. It's been about an hour and a half, so the sh the shot was lethal. Uh, it just wasn't the greatest placement. So we're gonna get her loaded up and go take care of her. <laughs>